Hey man, it's Phil X. I said Phil X! Yeah. So, um, this is a, unusual for us. We have a, a PRS here, a Paul Reed Smith guitar. But this is a 1985. This is one of the original ones ever made. It's Paul, called a Pari... It's called a PRS metal. Metal as in, uh, it, kinda, it looks kind of metallic. But anyways, uh, it's a pre-production guitar made before the 25 metals made in 1985 to 1986. So this is a pre, kind of like a prototype, if you will. And it rocks out. It's got this, instead of having a tone knob, it's got a, a, a voicing selector between the two pickups. And this, this is a sweet switch, which I haven't figured out what it does yet. But I will, while you're watching. It'll be new for all of us. And uh, let's see, it's 7.8 pounds. It's a medium-sized neck, but it seems more medium to thick to me. Uh, it's original design by Bud Davis, a custom car motorcycle painter who did the, uh, the paint. All right. Check it. This is clean. Sounds like the treble pickup alone. Okay, let's move right along to position number two in the clean end. Wow, that's kind of phasey. Moving right along to channel three. Okay, that sounds like a cool kind of uh, pickup combo going on there. Shake, yeah. Okay, and here, very stratty uh, uh, position two or four, two on a, a five selector or switch on a strat. That's what that sounds like to me. Get the. Oh! It's a little thinner than the sound would be if it was a strat. And. This is all the way to the counterclockwise. That's the neck pickup. And let's check out this switch here. Kind of puts a little filter on it, so I like it down. So maybe that switch. from Frankenstein. All right, moving right along into the treble pickup into the tone master. Oh. Okay, neck position. Okay, and let's try all the other ones. This is position two. Can't say a cure for that one too much. This is three. <laughs> That one's kind of cool. Pick up. Okay, and we also have, check it out, 24 frets on this, so we got two octaves. Two octaves. It's a pretty cool rock guitar. Um, let's check out the whammy bar. Maybe we stay in tune, maybe we don't. 
then you also might recognize the shape of this guitar because Carlos Santana has made um, PRS is very famous. So this is the kind of guitar, I think it's different electronics, but it's kind of like the shape and uh, style of the guitar that Carlos Santana uses. Hey, let's try this, man. We'll go to the next pickup. How do I know that? It's probably wrong. All the, it's probably really wrong. But it sounds good if a whole bunch of us are singing it in harmony. <laughs> All right, check it. Okay, I got a tweet. I got a whammy bar. It's not a flip stick, but somebody asked me to do some of the flip stick music uh, from the 1989 video, flipping out from Phil X with the long hair. And uh, I'm gonna try and do it without a flip stick. I'm gonna try to do it with this whammy bar here, but you'll get an idea of what's going on in the song. I already did the intro. So I'm not going to do the intro. I'll try my best to do flipping out because I haven't played it in a really long time. So it's in the key A and uh, the melody goes like this. Flipstick, man. Apologize for um, profusely. I'm gonna bring in a flip stick next time because I just can't do it without it. And you know, this is why I started using flip stick. I'll tell you right now. Anybody who says, "Man, that's a weird-looking whammy bar," it's because of this. It's because I was trying to like play, and this thing was like getting in my way. And I thought, man, if I had something that looked like a click kickstand, it would stay out of my way. So that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> 